Hey guys, guys, I'm Jess and I'm Steven and we're here in Myanmar Mandalay at Go Eco's Teaching English Project. We're going to be here for a week volunteering and we're going to show you guys what it's like to volunteer at a monastery. So let's tell you guys a little bit about the school. So there's a thousand students that live on campus and another 7,000 that come to the school. So there's 8,000 students here. Most of them are novice monks and I think there's like 400 teachers here. And then the reason the volunteers come is that they want to introduce an international language to Myanmar because the tourists haven't been coming here that long. So yeah, the students come, do their normal classes and what the volunteers are here for is to come and do English lessons with them. So every day each student has an English lesson and they're all run by the volunteers here. And yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys what we've been getting up what about oh this is a hard one what about this one lips 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 on your eyelashes, very eyelashes. <laughs> Put your hands on your knees. <laughs> <laughs> Listen very carefully. Good morning everybody, it's the next day and we're coming to the, uh, into the class to teach the kids and it's the end of the lesson so we've decided to play some Uno with them. Do you have blue or two? Or oh, he's changed it to red. Can you do it? Yeah, I can do it. Stupid? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Stupid. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. And what is your name? My name is Sam. 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 My name is Kevin. Kevin. Yes, English name. Family name is Dingue. Dingue? Yes, family name. Hey everyone, this is our new friend, Kevin. Yes, I'm a novice. He's a novice monk. And how old are you? 17. 17. He was just in our English class we were just at and he's walking us back to our room. Yeah. <laughs> so I think the thing that we found so incredible about the schools is how self-sustaining the school is. They have their own kitchen to feed everyone. They actually offer free education to everyone here so no one pays anything. A thousand students that are here don't pay board, they don't pay their education, they get free food. They also have an optometrist, they have a doctor. It's just like so unbelievable that they're able to do all of this stuff. It's pretty busy at the moment because it's first thing in the morning and also it's exam week. So everyone's getting ready. I think there's a bit of a nerves, a little hustle bustle. This looks like a good place for breakfast. Cheers everyone. <laughs> so we've ordered some pancakes. Different type of oh, it actually looks quite good with like honey. Is it good?
so during your time in Myanmar, you actually get some time off to go and explore the beautiful area. This is what you can get up to. Alrighty, first stop on today's little sightseeing tour is we've come to the Mandalay Palace. I got 150 steps, but 150 steps my body was not ready for. The view looks for. so good, Steve. Yeah. Look, you can really see the whole palace. Oh, we didn't need the drone. Wow. Oh my gosh. It looks like it's like designed like a Chinese or Japanese dynasty type place. It's amazing. All we want, all we want is please. Giving us, giving no time to breathe. How are you going there, Jess? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Today we have jumped on the boat, gone across the river, and we're now in Mingguin. Mingguin? Mingguin. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but <sighs> looks like our Ubers arrived. just arrived at our first pagoda and oh my goodness this is one of the most beautiful temples I've ever seen it is all white it is circular so beautiful So we have the afternoon off, so we've decided to come down to Mandalay Hill to climb up to see the pagoda at the top. We've been told it's 1720 ish steps to get to the top, but we have a nun with us from the school. So if she can do it, oh, I can do it. Woohoo, we made it to the top. Be prepared for very dirty feet. Friday afternoon we've all decided to head out so we all jumped into a taxi and we've gone to a place called Eubane Bridge and this is meant to be the longest Tikar wooden bridge in the world and it is really long 1.2 kilometers long to be exact. That's Steve what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah not a hundred percent sure how stable this is it is squeaking and there's a lot of people on this bridge. Good morning guys and welcome to a 7 a.m. morning here in Mandalay. Today we are actually gonna be taking a minivan from Mandalay all the way to Began. I feel like these are the oldest, rustiest bikes I've ever hired out. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. That's cool, hey. Uh huh. We are here in Began, about to watch the sunrise, which is probably the number one thing to do here. Alrighty guys, this ends our time here in Myanmar. Now if you're interested in volunteering right here, just go to goeco.org for more information. See you guys! <laughs>